I don't want to exalt my place or exalt the place of a preacher, but I want to tell you something. As God uses men to advance his kingdom through the proclamation of the truth, so the devil uses men to advance his cause against the kingdom of Christ. Whenever the kingdom is advancing, it's because the word of God is being proclaimed. Do you want to advance the kingdom? Proclaim, proclaim, proclaim the truth. But you need to understand that there are two lines on this battlefield, and one line has men of truth. They are men of truth, not by their own virtue or merit, but the election, the sovereignty, the grace of God. They are men of truth, and they must stand with the truth and stop playing games like little boys and devote themselves to know the truth and to proclaim it. And then on this side, there is another line. And they are proclaimers of lies, frivolity, maybe even good things, but not the best things of God. They do not speak according to what is written. Young man, when you get up in the pulpit, no one needs to hear from your heart. They need to hear from God's word. Someone called me years ago and said, I want to come to the mission field. And I said, why? I just want to give my life away. I said, young man, no one here in Peru needs your life. They need the word of God proclaimed to them. Liars. They are liars because they do not, asp- they do not speak according to what is written. They are hypocritical because they pretend to have a spirituality that is from God, but in actuality, at best, their spirituality is carnal or natural and at worst it's demonic now again how do you know if one's spirituality is from God because it conforms to what is written 